Hi, this time we're going to look at how to animate bullet points. Here I have a slide with three bullet points and when I'm showing this slide to an audience I want to talk about each bullet point in turn but what I want is just to have showing on the screen the bullet point that I'm discussing and I want to hide the other bullet points, uh, dim a bullet point when I finish talking about it and then bring in the next one. So I have my audience uh, controlled as it were. So what I'm going to do is to click on the animations tab first of all and then I'll click in the bullet points, somewhere in the bullet points to select them and I'll click on the border the placeholder border that surrounds the bullet points so it becomes a solid line. I'm using uh, PowerPoint 2010 it will appear exactly the same in uh, PowerPoint 2013. Now in the animation uh, um, uh, tab I'm going to now click in on the animation pane which shows me the animation pane and then add animation over here. I'll use fade. Now when I fade I'll see here that in the animation pane I can click the little double chevron here which shows me that each of those bullet points is selected. They're surrounded by a uh, blue border. One of the bullet points has a drop down arrow so I'll click the drop down arrow and then click effect options. And what I want to do uh, after, after the animation I want to hide on the next mouse click. So I'll choose that and click OK. Now when I run the slideshow, each time I click the mouse, I bring in a bullet point. So I talk about the salaries, and having discussed those, you'll notice the other two bullet points are uh, uh, not available at the moment. But when I click my mouse, there I see the, the salaries dim, but the annual leave comes in. I talk about the annual leave, click my mouse, then I talk about time and loo. So I'm forcing my audience to concentrate on the bullet point that I'm talking about. That's the whole idea of it. It's not difficult. Um, a little bit of practice. Remember to select the bullet points first of all. Over here, click on the border of the placeholder and then in the animation tab, animation pane, that brings up this area here and then add the animation uh, for whatever uh, type of animation you want. So um, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, there'll be lots more tips, tricks and procedures. Thanks for watching.